Hello everyone, myself Dr. Hidesh Arya, Department of Geology, NRC College, Kurja. My today's topic is nutrition in protozoa. So everybody knows that the protozoa obtains nourishment in many ways and some synthesize their own food, others have it made from them by algae living in their cytoplasm and still other way passively until food comes within reach, capturing it almost with the outer sheath. Protozoa leads parasite life, usually doing no or little harm to their host, but occasionally causing serious diseases. The types of nutrition in protozoa are holozoic, monocytosis, autotrophic or holotrophic, saprozoic, parasitic, coprozoic and mixotrophic. Majority of protozoa nutrite holozoically like animals on solid food. The food of protozoa consists of microorganisms like bacteria, diatoms, rotables, crustaceans, larvae, other protozoans, algae, small fragments of large animals and plants, etc. This mode of nutrition essentially involves a process like intake of food, that is, ingestion, digestion, absorption, ejection of undigested residues. The mode of food ingestion in protozoa is characteristically referred to as phagocytosis or phagotrophy. In fact, in flagellates which are colorless or who have lost their chromatophores capture food with the help of their flagella. In case of holophytic nutrition, the phytoplagellates possess chloroplast and chromatophores to synthesize their food by photosynthesis just like the plants. They utilize sunlight, carbon dioxide and water as raw materials. This method of self-feeding is referred to as autotrophic photography and the dextrose sugar paramyelone synthesizes characteristics of euglenite flagellates. As you read previously, euglena <coughs> Uh, take nutrition by holophytic method. Holozoic nutrition, most of the protozoans like paramecium, nutrition is by ingesting other organisms. This mode of nutrition is said to be holozoic. It involves development organelles for food capture, ingestion, digestion, assimilation and digestion of undigested food material. They capture their food by flagella, pseudopodia and trachytes. Here you can see the diagrammatic representation of holozoic nutrition. In this case, amoeba is going towards the food particles and when the food particle is closer to the amoeba, it, there is a cavity appears and the food is invaginate in the body of amoeba and it makes a food vacuum to digest the food. In case of pinocytosis, it is also known as cell drinking and it involves ingestion of liquid food by invagination through the surface of the body. The pinocytosis channels are formed at some parts of the body which enclose the fluid from the surrounding medium. The lower end of these channels are pinched as food by tools into the endoplasm. Pinocytosis only induced by certain active substances in the medium surrounding the cell. Higher molecular compounds from the external medium are absorbed by this method. Diagrammatic representation of pinocytosis. Here you can see the pinocytosis channels, direction of the movement of particles, initial formation of pinocytosis channels, pinosomes. So you can see here the water or any liquid is goes inside the body through the pinocytosis channels and they form the pinosomes. In case of saprozoic nutrition, the absorption of food take taken place by osmosis through the general body surface. So this method is referred as osmotrophy. The food mainly is the dead organic matter rendered so by the decomposing bacteria. This kind of nutrition is find, found in mastigum amoeba and also some of the <coughs> and also some of the colorless flagellates. 
sectorians feed on other ciliates with the help of their tentacles with have funnel like ends you can see here the funnel like endings of the sectorians and they suck their food by the captured prey by <coughs> embedding their tentacles inside the body of the prey mode of feeding in sectorians mostly sectorians are fixed by the substratum with the help of the stalk and they uh, they embed their tentacles inside the paramecium or any other captured prey's body and they suck the food from them mixotropic nutrition this is a combination of more than one mode of nutrition many protozoa using photosynthesis as a means also take in some parts of their diet in dissolved form by osmotrophy or solid form by phagocytosis. The best example of this kind of nutrition are flagellates like euglena and paranema. They source more than one mode of nutrition like holozoic and holophytic. Nutrition in parasitic protozoa. The mechanism used by parasitic protozoa are almost are similar to that of their non-parasitic protozoa, but inhibiting the intestine and blood have a distinct mouth through which food particles are ingested through the process of phagotrophy. The osmotic forms of protozoa are either silozoic or histozoic. The silozoic form absorb their food by their cell surface. The histozoic form feed on the substances by osmotrophy or osmosis. Parasitic saprozoic forms may also directly use the serum of their post blood. You can see here the parasitism in protozoa. The parasitism is also common in protozoa. The para means beside and cyto means food. The parasites are in species which live at the expense of certain other species. The other animals which on the parasite live on lives are called as host. The parasites are biologically and economically closely connected with the host throughout their lifetime. Hence, parasitism can be defined as an association between the parasites and their host. It is an association between two organisms whereby the parasite temporarily or permanently lives and feed in or on the body of the host. Almost all the protozoans group have parasitic species and the group sporozoa is exclusively parasitic. So there are two types of parasites found in nature, mostly ectoparasites and endoparasites. So in case of ectoparasites, the parasites are inhibits the external surface of their host like hydroamoeba, hydrozina, feeding on the ectodermal cells of the hydra. So many species are endoparasites in case of protozoans and they inhibit the internal surface of their host. They may be further subdivided into following types like the parasites which dwell in the lumen of the alimentary canal of the host are Antamoeba histolytica, Giardia lambia, Isopora hominis and Balantidium coli. The parasites which reside in the mouth cavity of the host like Trichomonas tenax and Tavagincivalis. The parasite which inhibit the genital tract of the host like Trichomonas vaginalis. The parasite which live within the tissue of the host, they may enter the host tissue through the skin or even from the digestive tract like Trypanosoma, Plasmodium, Lismania and Babesia. Some pathogenic and hyperparasites are the protozoans which parasitize other parasitic protozoans. In other words, these are parasites on parasites like Gelarilla, Nosemia, Notavilis, Spherospora and Polymorpha. Actually, they are parasites. They live on the body of other parasites. And in case of pathogenic parasites, generally the parasitic protozoans are not always pathogenic, but sometimes these parasites are pathogenic and can cause grave disease in humans and other animals. These parasites which are causing disease are called pathogenic parasites like Lismania donovonai, it can causes Kala Azar, 
Plasmodium bivax responsible for malaria and Trypanosoma gambiens. It is responsible for sleeping sickness disease in human beings. Methods of transmission. There are many methods in which the uh, protozoan can transmit the disease in their host like protozoan parasites uh, examples are Antamoeba gingivalis, Antamoeba histolytica, Trypanosoma, Plasmodium, Hymeria, and Babesia, and the mode of transmission like direct transfer, contaminated transfer, inoculative transfer, congenital transfer, contaminative transfer, etc. And in case of transmission method by mechanical contact or by cyst or by invertebrate backdoors by food by water by invasion of ovary or eggs by sex in parasitic protozoans host specificity the protozoan parasites are generally host specific and in this regard two trends are seen firstly some of the parasites like the panosoma and and emeria successfully parasitize wide range of host and secondly the some parasites like plasmodium restrict themselves only to the few species only. The parasites can bring about several changes within their host. Some parasites can also prove to be injurious to the host, while others may produce no effect on the host. The following are the few examples are Antamoeba histolytica destroy the large intestine of the host and this is in turn causes ulceration. Emeria study causes hyperplasmia of the liver cells of the rabbit. Polymnia nebulosa, which is the parasite of earthworm, brings about hypertrophy of the sperm mother cell. And Plasmodium gallinaceum is a malarial parasite of bird clocks, fine blood capillaries. So you can easily understand the mode of nutrition in protozoa. There are many types of protozoa and many types of nutrition also. So nutrition, it depends on the structure of the protozoans and the mode of the nutrition is depend either it is holozoic or holophytic or suctorian or parasitized as you studied earlier. Thank you.